thought that was a C sharp six, but yeah, try it out, see what happens up there. Okay. Oh, it flips. It flips to a whistle. Yeah. Did you hear it? it? Oh, wow. Yeah. That is amazing. Wow, very good. Okay, so A5. There. There you go. So that note was a C sharp six, okay? So, like something like that. Oh, um. Okay, okay, did, okay. I, I think you can go higher. You probably just imitated what I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, can you go? And close your mouth and do a hum sound. Try that up there. Oh, it flips. It flips to a whistle. Yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is amazing. Wow. Very good. Very good. So, what you can do is from there. Do that. See what it feels like. It's amazing. And you know, th this is a test that I do with people to see how well developed their falsetto is. In other words, how developed their vibratory mechanism M2 and also M3, which is basically whistle, is developed because um, when you close your mouth to hum at that part of the range, so for us as male male vocalists um it's our fourth passaggio or fourth bridge or vocal break area uh, for females generally speaking of course it's your uh third bridge or third vocal break right um and we can do this particular test for everybody out there to be honest regardless of you know how old they are or what their voice type is stuff like that and if you do it correctly if your voice is functioning correctly up there if your muscles are well developed up there, then it will ha it will do what it just happened with you, okay? Whereas when you close your mouth, it goes to a whistle, and then you open your mouth, it comes back to a false So it's almost like it's switching from M two to E M three, M two M three, M two M three, which is very very nice.